when disaster strikes, the wind is howling and the water is rising, this is the truck that will come to land a helping hand. This is the brand new Acela Montera 6x6 high water rescue truck by General Truck Body. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the features on this big rig, take it on the highway, and of course, take it in the mud right here in Houston, Texas. This video is brought to you guys by our friends at Acela Truck and of course General Truck Body. Use the link below to check them out because they have some really cool big rigs. Acela makes 4x4 and 6x6 versions of this truck and the chassis can be used for anything an overland adventure rig a construction vehicle and in this case a high water rescue truck but acela also can re-gear the differential axles to increase the speed from 58 miles an hour the top speed on the highway to 74 miles an hour making it respond quick or take you cross country on your journey let's take it on the highway and see how it does This truck is re-geared, it still gets going really quick. Of course, we're not carrying a lot of payload right now. And it is a little touch loud, you can kind of hear the engine. But still, it's much better than a military truck would be at this type of speed. And the steering is actually really nice and tight, there's not a lot of play, which is really nice and confident and confident and inspiring. I'm going about 60, getting a little bit faster. And when you gotta get to your location quick, deploy fast. This is the way to do it with a highway tire pressure. Fully inflated, you can go fast. There we go, about 70 miles an hour. And the top speed, like I said, is about 74. That's plenty. Before this shiny finished truck rolls out of the factory here at General Truck Body, it starts its life as a military surplus vehicle. It used to be a Stewart & Stevenson chassis, but of course Acela Truck Company takes it, disassembles it, reconditions every part, and they use 600 brand new parts that were just manufactured to build the cab chassis. And then the Acela truck arrives here in Texas to be upfitted. And here is Chris to tell us more. Chris, thanks for having me. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about the Acela and how you get these chassis when they come in. Yeah, so the Acela chassis, these are out of Bozeman, Montana. Uh, Acela truck company, they take these chassis from uh, military surplus and uh, bring them to their shop and do a total reset program. So basically they'll take these, break the unit down to a bare minimum frame rail status, and then rebuild it from the back up. Totally sandblasting the cab, all the frame rails, and all the uh, intricate pieces of, of these trucks. Once it's broken down, it's sandblasted, and they add over 650 plus new parts, OEM parts that are still being manufactured. Okay. Uh, and bring it to the capabilities of what you see here before you. Being in this part of the country, uh, flooding has become a annual event, okay. uh, a serious annual event. Yeah. So we are specking these vehicles purpose built for high water interaction. Each of these trucks has a 50 inch water fording capability. Okay. Uh, basically, roughly I would over say- Over four feet. Yeah, yeah, over four feet. Once you get to the bottom of the cab, uh, that's about your 48 to 50 inch marker. You know, we want to make sure that, hey, we're turning around if the cab is filling up with water. I see. Uh, obviously, an end user being a first responder is going to do what they have to do to save the life, yeah. right? So you get these uh, chassis basically this way, you know, with the spare tire mounts, you know, cab, cab chassis, basically. Cab chassis, this system's all air over hydraulics, so this, uh, 
uh, t spare tire system will work with your hydraulic system. Okay. They're big tires, big heavy. big wheels, big tires. So Chris, how heavy is this tire, were you saying, with the wheel? Oh, I would say it's anywhere about 250 to 350 pounds. I haven't personally had to haul one around yet, but I'm glad we have this system to aid us. And guys, this truck is carrying one spare. Obviously, it's a six-wheel drive, and uh, having a spare tire is very important. And by the way, if this truck ever needs spare parts, a lot of them are still being manufactured. And a seller or the guys at General Truck Body can help you um, actually getting spare parts. Wow, it is very heavy, very heavy. 46 inch tire, right? Yes, sir. A lot of the departments that we see want to utilize this particular chassis as a multi-mission capable vehicle, right? So when there is uh, flooding going on, uh, they have a unit that's high profile enough to travel through and ford through water, but when flooding scenarios aren't taking place, they need something that can uh, have a payload capacity to carry a bunch of water and utilize it as a wildland engine. Okay. So a uh, bunch of different hats that this truck can wear. There's the beast. This is a 7.2 liter cat. It's a C7. There are a couple of different versions of this engine in this chassis, but really here the power rating is 330 horsepower and 860 pound feet of torque. And that torque comes in at about 1440 RPM. So it's a lot of low end grunt. That may not seem like a lot of power by today's standards in the heavy duty pickup trucks, but it's got a seven speed Allison transmission and all the gearing to get this truck moving with a lot of weight. There's neutral mode that starts in, then reverse and drive. And there are a couple of other drive modes, meaning the power distribution, either 50-50, front to back, or 30 to the front, 70 to the rear, depending on your terrain. get this terrain in Colorado it's just really deep soupy mud and this truck is just I'm barely touching the throttle it's just doing really well and it's super heavy I mean this truck by itself weighs about between 18 and 20 thousand pounds and then you could carry another like 20 thousand pounds maybe depending on configuration really amazing it feels unstoppable even in this really deep stuff one unique feature on this truck is CTIS central tire inflation system you can see some of it over here and this truck of course has onboard air because it has air brakes air seats and other components that are run by air. So you can adjust the tire pressures while moving up or down, which is really important because you can get somewhere fast and then go off road or in a tough situation and decrease your tire pressures. And of course, in the highway mode, like right now, the tires are basically fully inflated to about 80 to 85 PSI. But once we get on dirt, I can hit a button right here that says X that stands for cross country and the pressures can drop to about 35 psi so the tire gets a lot more squishier a little bit wider get more traction and also get a little bit more comfort because the whole truck can absorb the off-road terrain From the driver's seat, you can have full operation over all the emergency lighting uh, via the uh, lighting interface. So we can control the uh, light bar, the exterior lights, scene lights, ground lighting, siren, speaker, and also the uh, PA system that we have 
and then there's a lot of different configurations based off of what uh, the end user needs. So whether it be a fire department that's running red and white lights or a police department that's running red and blue lights, uh, there's multiple configurations yeah. of, of emergency lighting, different flash patterns uh, based off of uh, you know the location or operation that they're conducting. And uh, the rest of the cap here is kind of a cella, right? Um, right, equipment. yeah. Yeah, so a cella does a lot of great things in transitioning this unit or resetting this unit from surplus to what we like to call a commercial. Even though it's not officially a commercial vehicle, I like to think that Acela has done such a great job in their reset program that this is very much a commercial vehicle mm -hmm. uh, standard, uh, being the digital dash, uh, your air brakes, uh, air conditioning system, which is cup very holders? high powered. Cup holders, got to have a cup holder <laughs> for sure. Okay. Uh, and then with the radio. Your, all your radios, XM, navigation, phone connect play. One of the big things uh, that I like to have in this particular unit is uh, in-cab insulation. So in a surplus vehicle, they're very bone stock. They're hard, hard metal, uh, simply, simply made. That way, if yeah. you know, any, but any maintenance needed to be done, it could be done in the middle of the desert. Uh, let's be honest about that. So uh, what they've done now is taken this surplus vehicle, fully insulated the doors, the rest of the cab. And what is a digital dash? What kind of information do you have there? So the digital dash is gonna give you your readouts for a lot of different things. A lot of things that you would see in your common vehicle now. So your odometer, your speed, what gear you're in, uh, how many engine hours, how many miles, uh, boost, PSI, TAC, RPM, transfluid temperature, fuel, batteries, uh, really anything that you need to know about this truck you're going to be able to find on this uh, digital dash system. So the white one is is pretty special in that it is, I would say, our Cadillac on the line right now. <laughs> okay. Reason being is that it has a different prep package than some of the other chassis we get. Okay. A cell will differentiate their chassis into a GL and an XL. Okay. Uh, GL kind of being your more standard run of the mill uh, option package. Okay. Whereas the XL has a couple more features, creature comforts, the power windows, power equipment, power mirrors, power locks, vinyl seating uh, versus your, your cloth seating. Okay. And then a leather grip steering wheel with wood and, and wood grain yeah we're, we're really getting fancy over here it's a high uh, class all right Acela does a, a great job okay. at, uh, turning out quality products not only from an operational standpoint but from a creature comfort standpoint as well and this is the bed is this one of yours or is this uh, how it comes we receive the chassis in a couple of different ways um, we're either going to get a standalone cab chassis or depending on uh, the market We'll be able to receive them with a stock military cargo body on them. Which is what this is? Which is what this is, okay. right. So we have a couple features that we've added to ensure ex or protection from exterior forces, trees, things like that. What makes this truck very unique though is the special lift gate here in the back for rescue operations. Let's show how it works. This lift gate can handle about 3,000 pounds of weight and I had a very big breakfast, but I think it should be able to handle me. You can see these hand safety handrails are in their stowed position. So when you're in transport, these are the stowed position. That way, if you do have a bunch of people, you're totally safe, totally enclosed. 
nobody's going to quickly find their way out of this vehicle. Okay. So when you're in deployment mode, these will transition from the rear operator's deck into the side side of the lift gate. Okay. So when it is operational, uh, firefighters and or civilians will be able to hold on to something. And By, this is aluminum. I mean, yeah, all light. aluminum, yeah. lightweight, very easy for operators or civilians to handle. So the biggest goal is to be able to have a, a stretcher or a wheelchair transverse from the lift gate onto the uh, unit mm -hmm. as, as seamlessly as possible. And also the ladder system is there, right? Yeah, so if the, if the lift gate were to fail, uh, you do have a secondary point of entry or depending on the scenario, maybe your primary uh, point of entry. Okay. Very simple, lightweight aluminum uh, ladder, single pin system, okay. very simple uh, for an operator to utilize. You would place your trigger finger on the spring pin, lift up, remove away, and just drop. It's built, the frames, with a, with a pitch, so when it is deployed all the way down, you do have the staircasing effect instead of one on top of another. So you have lighting here, this is storage boxes, and seating. We do take out the uh, standard fold-up, fold-down military cargo seating. Uh, and reinstall that with a half inch thick polymer box. And what we're doing here is achieving uh, multiple missions at one time, right? So you have seating along with storage capacity. All right, so you saw the chassis cab, you saw the white truck, which is the Mantera XL luxury model. You saw the high water rescue truck, but that's not all. It can also be a fire truck. And here are the guys at General Truck Body installing 1,000 gallon tank fire suppression system inside of it. So they're mounting this giant 1,000 gallon fire suppression system. It's got pumps, it's got hoses, it's got the tank, and they have a unique mounting system with the teeth and the tank actually meet together and use a forklift to actually put it up here uh, and the whole tank system weighs about I think almost 3,000 pounds but when after you put the water in there you know that's over 12,000 pounds so this truck can handle it and it could be a multi-use vehicle because you could take the tank system out you're probably wondering about price well for the brand new Acela Montera 4x4 chassis it's about a hundred thousand bucks the six by six cap chassis fully done it's about a hundred and ten thousand and if you want an outfit like this from general truck body just go to their website or give them a call because pricing varies dramatically based on equipment but when people lives are at stake any equipment like this is worth the price Thanks to our friends at the Sella Truck Company and of course the guys at General Truck Body for making this possible. And it's all fun and games until you have to clean the truck uh, and clean the cameras, but I'm gonna jump in there and clean it out. And guys, of course, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world 6x6 truck reviews.